Friday, April 22nd, 2016. I'm Callahan, and this is my grandma Dolores, coming to you from WBUC Studios with today's school news. Lunch for today will be a choice of sweet potato cross cuts, build your own sub, and Big Daddy's Pizza. Remember, Bucks, we have a free breakfast every day in the cafeteria. The word of the day today is variegated. Having streaks, marks, or patches of different color or colors. Very colored. Can you use it in a sentence, sweetie? Yes, I can, Grandma. The words marking were so variegated that Mr. Vargas assumed that they had been painted on. And now to Jake for today's weather forecast. Today's high is 82 degrees and tight slow is 69 degrees. We have a 50% chance of rain today, followed by sunny skies for the next week. And enjoy the weather, Bucks. This day in history. Well, I have a dream. In 1970, the first Earth Day was celebrated. I remember that. And Jack Nicholson was born today in 1937. I remember that too. And now for our strange news of the day. Six-year-old boy denies birthday gifts, but instead asks for money to donate to the sea turtle rescue efforts. Ohio police are looking for suspects of the theft of $2,500 worth of teeth whitening kits. Prom's coming up fast. Prices for tickets will start at $70 today, and they will raise to $75 April 28th and the 29th, and raise again to $80 on May 2nd through the 12th. Attention 10th and 11th graders, are you interested in dual enrollment at PHSC this summer? Go to guidance April 25th through the 27th for registration paperwork, and signups will be at the college on the 28th and the 29th. Now to a video about CPR. As a paramedic, I've showed up several times. We get the call, 911, you have a response to a cardiac emergency or cardiac arrest. And everyone is just standing around, whether it's coworkers or whether it's loved ones. They could have been doing CPR prior to our arrival. And it's unfortunate because if we were able to have people doing CPR, it could possibly save that person's life. When I had walked up to the bus stop, uh, there was just this crowd just covering the entire sidewalk, and they were all just standing around this man on the ground who was turning purple, and nobody was doing anything. It was kind of frustrating because there was a ton of adults, like 30 adults, standing around this man, and it took me, a teenager, to step over there and say that something needed to be done. Just because of the CPR training that I had received in high school, it, I knew what to do in a situation like that. I knew the signs of when somebody needs CPR, so my training kicked in, and it was kind of like being back in the classroom, responding to it. I told somebody to call 911, and I performed the CPR until the EMTs and the police department and the fire department came. Everyone should know CPR, because everyone has a heartbeat. And you never know when an emergency is gonna happen, when someone may go into cardiac arrest. If you don't do CPR, then the person doesn't survive. I didn't have any response from him, um, and when the EMTs arrived, they didn't get any response from him until they got him to the hospital, and when he was in the hospital, he was stabilized. When they told me that I had saved his life, I kind of started crying, but it was more like a relief tears that I, I had actually helped somebody instead of letting them die on the street. Good morning, Bucks. Coach McFarland here with a great opportunity for everyone. As you just saw in the video, a young lady had the opportunity to save a life, and because of her knowledge from the training that she did in school, she was able to help save a life. I am conducting a hands-only CPR training here at Gulf High School. We have already trained over 200 Gulf High students and are looking for anyone else who would like to be trained. The training takes one hour and we'll be conducting the class two more times next week for anyone wanting to be trained. Please sign up with me before or after school or during your lunch. The trainings will be held next Tuesday and Wednesday, the 26th and 27th, after school from 1.45 to 2.45. 
You must be signed up, so please see me if you are interested in this training. Okay, hands-only CPR. It's a great opportunity, it does not take long, and it will give you some very useful knowledge. Thank you very much, Bucks, and have a great day. Straighten up. Sorry. For any additional information, please refer to our scroll up. That's all for our news. Happy, Happy Earth Day, Day Golf. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Electric word, life, it means forever, and that's a mighty long time. But I'm here to tell you, there's something else. The afterworld. A world of never ending happiness. You can always see the sun, day or night. So when you call up that shrink in Beverly Hills, you know the one, Dr. Everything will be alright. Instead of that